Well, welcome. My name is Persia, aka Inspiring Persia, and I am representing Los Angeles Athletic Hub. So in spite of what's going on with this crazy coronavirus, I am here, I know that we're all had to hibernate, so I'm here to try to give you guys a quick little workout so that we can still be motivated in spite of whatever is going on. So I know that we're home, and I want to kind of give you a little bit of a warm up and kind of go with what we can do with at home. A lot of us have some equipment and if we don't, you can still do some other things to motivate us and inspire us and find some little things, whether it's in our cabinets or whether it's some of our, like you can use some canned goods, you can use some um, gallon of water. A lot of us had to go get some gallon of water or we can use like an apple, um, apple juice bottles or whatever we can. So in the, in the midst of things, I'm gonna kind of show you some things that we can do to utilize while we're home to do our workout. So let's first start off with a five minute warm up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to start to rotate up with our neck. So we're gonna rotate from side to side. So from corner to corner. So, so just let's start off with a warm from neck to neck, side to side. Side. Take your right hand, pull it to side, left, Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Turn to look your, have your nose look to the right side of your toe. All the way down. Tilt your head over to the left side. Turn your head to have your nose look towards your left toe. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Take your right hand, stretch it straight up, grab your, I'm sorry, take your right hand. Grab your left arm, pull it all the way to the side. Smile, it's gonna be okay. Inhale and exhale, breathe. Stretch all the way to the right. Find some good background music for you. Come up, come down a little lower. Come down lowest. hands, grab your right hand, pull to your left side. Come down a little lower. Come down lowest. Come down, roll your shoulders back. wider. Rotate your hips around. Inhale, exhale. Rotate the other way around. Slowly bend your knees. Take your elbows, separate in between your legs. So you're opening up your abductors. And to separate out your um, abductors. So you're opening up. You're also opening up your shoulders. Side. Make sure you're focusing on your breathing. Inhale, exhale. Press your hands all the way down. Legs if you can. Knees. Straighten out your legs if you can. Bend your knees. Your right knee, lift up your left heel. So you're stretching out your hamstrings. Bend both your knees again. Come to your left side. Straighten out your right leg. Slowly bring your legs in. Come up, bend your head 
down. Slowly come up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Over. Over. Okay, let's get this party started. All right, so now we're gonna do, so basically this class is going to be inspired glutes and abs. We're working mostly with our bands, whether we work with our lower body or our upper body. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work with, we started with our bands, whether our, our green and our yellow or our blue or black. So the green and the yellow is for your light and your medium, as well as our blue and our black is for your, um, for your legs. And then we're gonna also do with our sliders. If you don't have any bands, you always can use, you can utilize even uh, simple tights or you can use a sock to kind of use your bands. You can always find something to improvise. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our um, green and our yellow, which is going to be for your upper body, which is going to be for your hands. So I'm going to use our yellow. And so what you're going to do is you're going to put it in between your hands right here. You're going to straighten out your hands. You're going to drop your shoulders. You're going to keep your core nice and engaged. So when I'm going to say keep your core nice and engaged, you're basically going to suck in your abs. So you're going to put your hands out and drop your shoulders here. We're going to do a couple warm-ups just straightening out your arms. So you're just going to open up your arms and close. Open, close. We're going to do this 10 times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold. Hold, hold, hold. You should feel it right on your upper part of your shoulders as well as you're holding it, feeling straighten out your arms. Hold, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and rest. Breathe, how does that feel? Woo! I felt it, I don't know about you, but I felt it. I feel it nice in my shoulders. I'm always trying to get this over my arms. Um, Michelle Obama, Angela Bassett, Tina Turner. I share that all the time in my class. All right, so you're gonna slowly raise your arms up. We're gonna drop our shoulders so you should feel it right in our upper traps. You're gonna come down, open and close. 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 We have three more. Two and one. Hold, hold, hold. You're almost there. I know it's a little tiring. You can do this. You can do this. So you do that. We can do that three more times. Another good thing to do is if, if you want to up the challenge just a little bit, if you feel like you're like, okay, that was a little bit easier, you can always add this with some weights. So you have the band and you can add like some three pound of weights. If you have some simple weights in your home, like some people have weights or you know have their own little home gym. If not, you can do this with a simple little canned goods. So a lot of us have to go get extra canned goods. So if you have some canned goods, you can try this. So let's do this with round two with some weights or canned goods. So we're gonna open and close. So let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Hold, hold, keep them shoulders dropped, your core engaged. You got this. You're powerful, you're strong. Five, four, three, two, one. Raise it up, raise it up, raise it up, raise it up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. Drop the shoulders, keep your core engaged. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Think of all the positive affirmations. Think that this will pass. You got this, you got this, you got this. Hold, hold, hold. And release. Woo! That was good, that was good. Okay, so we're gonna go for another, um, another powerful exercise here. You're gonna keep this, your um, elbows are gonna be close, nice to your side. So we're just gonna work in. And we're gonna just work our biceps. So you're gonna keep the weights in, keep your weights in, or keep the canned goods right in, the, um, in your hands here. You're just gonna open here. So you're just working your biceps. The bands are still around your um, your wrists. We're gonna open and close. So open, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold. You see, you can get the whole family to do this. You can have to do it with your kids, you can do it with the young ones, do it with your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, whole family can be sitting here doing this. Ha! Ah, get the whole family working out. Okay, so now let's go back to now doing this. We're gonna come up here. Let's keep our elbows in engaged. We're just gonna kind of open it this way. So now you're just having it sit here. It's gonna be it's gonna a little bit challenging now. You still have the canned goods or you have your weights here, and we're just gonna open it this way. Oh, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. Let's do a 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold. Oh wow, we got this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh Jesus. Wow, that was challenging. That was challenging. Okay, let's go for one more of this of opening our arms. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Good. We're gonna put the weights down. We're gonna do two more exercises, working our tri, um, our biceps and our triceps, and then we're gonna move down to our legs. So you're gonna take the band. We're still working with our light or light or our medium. So if you have the yellow or the green, you're gonna take the band. You're going to grab your this is your right hand. You're gonna grab your right hand. You're gonna take your left hand, and you're gonna put the band in. Just kind of scoop it in this way. You're gonna take it in. You're gonna grab it. You're gonna go over with your um, right over your heart. You're going to grab the band here. You're going to bring your um, hands and you're going to kind of face it up forward. You're going to slightly bring your feet kind of go into the second position. So you're going to kind of go and you're going to slowly bend down. So I'm going to turn to the side so you can kind of see the direction I'm going in. And you're going to just kind of almost, so you're working your triceps and you're going to push out. So hopefully you guys can see where I'm at. You saw your hands are up here, your elbow is tucked in and you're just pushing out. So it's almost like you're pushing out something out of the way. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's hold it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Beautiful. Let's go to the other side. Take the band, switch hands. You're gonna take it onto your left hand, put it over your right side. We're gonna turn it over. You're gonna grab it here, so it's flip it over. It's gonna be in your palm of your hand. Come out, we're gonna push it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold, ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Hope you guys feeling okay. Feel that muscle. So we just worked our whole tricep. Let's go for round two. Switch back. Switch to your right hand. Grab with the palm. Go back to the other side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Switch to the other side. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Last time, alternate. Here we go. Switch to the side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. Ten, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch side, last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Okay, so now let's show you, I'm gonna show you a quick little move as far as doing it, what we can do for the biceps. So you're gonna go down on one knee. You're gonna take the band. You're gonna grab it, you're gonna put it on the edge of your toe of your foot. You're gonna put your elbow right on the bottom of your knee and you're just gonna slowly grab up. Here we go, and we're gonna just bend. So your elbow, your elbow's right at the tip of your knee and you're just gonna kind of bend. So you're working your bicep here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, hold it, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful, switch sides. Do that one more time. Another set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Last time. Right in the tip of your toe, elbow on the end of your spread right in your um, knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great. So you can do that for three sets um, if need be. Moving on, we're gonna now move to our ankle. So we are going to do our grab your black or your blue band. So the black one is for extra heavy and the blue one is for heavy. We're gonna do blue for this week. Next week if you return, we'll try something with our black band. So put this around your ankle. Get a little bit just comfortable. We're gonna stand feet apart, shoulder width apart. And what we're gonna do is I just want you to kind of get a little bit comfortable. We're gonna do two different exercises just with the um, bands around our ankles for now. I want you to just kind of stand, bend your knees slowly, slightly. You're gonna stand on one foot, so you're gonna lift up your left foot. I always try to figure out my left or my right half the time. Lift your left foot, you're just gonna lift up. We're gonna work just our abductors here. Just lift up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. A good thing to do is if you need to try to catch your balance, stand with a chair. Like have a chair behind, um, stand on the side of you, your sofa, if you stand near a counter. I like to always do this. Sometimes I like to use a band while I'm cooking. Uh, if I'm like cutting up vegetables, I work around with my band. My dog likes to follow around me with the band. I have full conversations. This is why I'm always off with counting when I'm in class. And stop. Breathe, inhale, exhale. You should feel it. Always keep your core engaged as you're doing this. Let's start on the left side. Step on your left foot and let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. Good. A good thing to do as you get stronger, you'll no notice that you can be able to go a little bit lower and come up. Beautiful. Breathe, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. I did a gallon of cha a gallon water challenge a day, especially when we were able to move. Um, it's a good thing to still try to do a gallon a day, 
However, um, and it may be worked even better because we have to be home, so you always near a bathroom. So I would still up to challenge you guys if you're still up and want to do a gallon challenge, let us know. We'll all, you know, can come collectively and do this. All right, let's do this round two. Step onto your right foot, lift the left leg up, and pull, pull uh, push out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Step on your left leg, push out on your right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push, hold it, hold it. Come down a little lower if you can. Come down, come down, come down. Keep your core engaged. So suck it in, suck it in, suck it in. And breathe. Beautiful. You can do that for three rounds. Second exercise we're gonna do with the band still around our ankles. So you're gonna push your foot out. So you're gonna step out, kind of like push your foot out. You're gonna push this foot back here. And we're just actually gonna push back here. I want you to tap back. So all you're gonna do is tap back. So tap back. You should feel that really a little bit from the back of your hamstring. So all you're gonna do is tap back. So tap back. So if you have a I can actually, let me show you even better with the chair. So, you can use a chair. All you can do is tap back. So, tap back. Next week, I'll show you even a little, I'll challenge you. I'll up the challenge with the slider. So, just tap back. We're going to do 10 taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. Push, 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 push. Beautiful. So I would have you just turn around to do the other side, but because I have a chair, I'm just gonna flip the chair around and I'm going to just move my, my right leg and I'll push back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to push my foot back. So I'm really pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing. Say so hold, hold, hold. Beautiful. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do this one more time. Here we go. Push your foot forward. Push your uh, Left, um, your left leg back. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. Push, 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 push. Hold. Come down, come down, come down, come down. And release. Switch sides. Just turn around. I didn't want to put my back to you, so I'm just moving the chair. Here we go, to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold, come down, bring your, like draw your hips down just a little bit. Excellent. Okay. Both our leg, our ankle moves with our band. We're now going to move to over our um, our thighs. So you're going to raise your bands over your thighs. I'm going to switch to a different band, um, a more fabric band, just easier on my thighs. It doesn't rise up as much. And I'm going to use. So usually, normally when we're in our class, we use steppers because we're in a gym. However. A lot of people don't have steppers. So what we can do, you can utilize the chair. This is why I took a chair. Or you can use your sofa. So what we're going to do today is we're going to use a chair. So what we're going to do is you're going to use your band. So now put your band over your thighs, a little bit over your knees. So raise your band over your knees. You are going to, before we use, the, before we use a chair, 
I just want you to grab some weights or grab a gallon of um, water bottles, whatever you have, or some canned goods, whatever you have, and use it as your weight. So I'm gonna have, right now I have some weights in my hand. I have the band run over my knees, and what we're going to do is we're just going to spread our legs as wide as we can, and I want you to come down, and we're gonna do some squats. So we're gonna do just 10 squats. Two. When you're coming down in your squat, you want to make sure your knees are over your toes. When you're coming up, you want to make sure you're squeezing your glutes and you want to make sure you're engaging your core. So let's go for round two. We're going to come down a little bit lower. We're going to make sure we bring the dumbbells or the, or the bottle of water, whatever you have, all the way down. Okay, so let's go for round two. One, squeeze your glutes. Two. raise the heartbeat a little bit let's make it a little um, we're gonna so we're now we're gonna add some jumps to this so if you can keep your weights in your hands we're gonna do some jumps so you're gonna come down jump two three four five six seven eight nine ten breathe inhale exhale we're gonna go for another round inhale exhale one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breathe. Inhale, exhale. Last set. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I felt that. I don't know if you felt that. Great. So now let's put those weights down to the ground and let's use our chair. Keep the band around your thighs. You're going to come down onto your mat or to the floor if you're in your living room. You are going to put your foot onto your sofa or your chair, whatever you want to utilize. You're going to put your right foot onto the chair. Your left foot is going to go straight up and you're going to raise up. We're only going to do two sets of these just due to time. So you're going to raise up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch legs. We hold the chair up for so now I'm going to switch legs. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Another exercise you can do is that you put both feet onto this, the chair. You come up, you open, and squeeze your glutes. So it's considered a bridge. You're kind of up, open, squeeze your glutes. Two. Up, open, squeeze your glutes. Three, come up. We have to hold the chair here. Squeeze your glutes. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold, hold it. Ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Come down and breathe. That was good. How did you guys feel so far? I'm gonna tie my shoe while you catch your breath. We're gonna do that one exercise one more time, and then we'll finish off with a quick little abs, some stretching, and we're done. Okay, so 
Right foot again onto the chair. Left foot straight up. You kind of want to push it against the band if you can, so you can feel it working in the back of your hamstring. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch legs. Set the chair next against the wall so it doesn't constantly move back and forth or unless you have a stepper. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Both legs. One, squeeze your glutes. Two, squeeze your glutes. Three. Five, 
four, three, two, one. Great. Let's take the band off. I'm going to show you without the band. I'm going to show you a sample of what you can do if you don't have slackers. So, you can do an exercise where you bring a rag out, down, and up. So let's do 10 of these. So this will start with one, out, two, out, three, out, four, out, five, out, six, out, seven, out, eight, out, nine, out, and 10. Guess what? Hold it, guys. Hold it. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, hopefully, we'll do a nice cool down. These are just a couple of exercises we can do. Let's lay flat on our back. Let's do a nice little stretch. Bring your left knee into your chest. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Bring it to the side. Bring it over. Take your hands, bring it under your um, right leg. Rotate your ankle. Inhale, exhale. Switch legs, bring your right knee into your chest. Inhale, exhale. Bring it to the side, so your right knee to the side. Rotate your left ankle. Give yourself a nice big hug. Tell yourself that you love yourself. I always say that to all my members and all my clients because we never say it enough to ourselves. We always love to say it to other people, but we never say I love you to ourselves. I don't think we hear it enough. You're ready, rock yourself up. Press your arms in front. So, as I was saying, these are a couple of exercises you can do in home while we all are self-contained, hibernating. Um, I hope that I was able to guide you through with some simple exercises um, whether you are on, whether you have some weights, whether you have a water bottle, whether you have some canned goods, whether you have a simple rag, you can do the simple rag in your kitchen, in your bathroom, um, on hardwood floors. You can even utilize a jump rope. Maybe next week when you come back, I can show you some exercises with jump ropes or just things that you can do with your friends, family, um, while you're home and just incorporate everybody that you can. Once again, my name is Inspiring Persia. Um, and I hope to see you guys soon. Just let's stay together, be together, one love.